again, Anushka, I hope you're all doing well. I know I'm in a different scenario today. I mean, this is just a bit weird, but anyways, we just needed a change. So I'm here in Covent Garden today. I'm gonna to be starting my new food series called Food Seek. For my first video, I'm gonna be doing one at Inamo restaurant. Okay, I thought I'd do a voiceover because the wind was just awful. But anyways, Inamo kind of specializes mostly in Japanese, Chinese, Thai and Korean cuisine. And they do a lot of fresh sushi as well. Not only have I heard a lot of good things about their food, but they do have interactive tables which have a screen and you can order your food on it. You can see what you're ordering and also play games, draw what like what the chef is doing which i'll show you guys more later on i thought since i just love food so much why not incorporate it into my channel i do hope you guys will like this video and if there's any other places you think i should visit in london let me know in the comments below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so there's three you can see three in here as well okay yeah with the connect each other so you want to send it send it here oh sorry just these two only two so this one just click out okay send send okay. it so our staff gonna check it there what you order if something wrong you come back and if everything's right all right thank you very much i've just literally bought my little mini light so that you can see me but yeah i'm i'm actually really excited to try the mocktails i usually get mocktails and i've tried a lot so i want to see if these ones are any good because literally everywhere i go i always get a mocktail so yeah okay i'm just gonna taste my drink guys First of all, I think they're using recyclable recyclable straws, which is always a thumbs up. This is so good, oh my goodness, and look how humongous that is. Okay guys, this massive drink here was $6.95. Like, to me, that is good value, because I've never had a big drink like this with that, that price. You can definitely taste like the cinnamon, like it's really cinnamony, it's very tropical at the same time. I'm just trying to get my way around the menu because um, it is a bit hard like cooking on the stuff but it is like really nice because it's nice and interactive, like it's cool. And we need to try the games in a bit. But anyways, I'm going to try my mom's one. This is... This one... This one's the cherry blossom cheese. Yeah, let me try it. This one's okay. It tastes like lemonade with like a bit of fruitiness to it. But I definitely prefer the tropical one. Thank you very much. Thank you. But yeah, definitely the tropical one, but this is still nice. It's like a lemonade-y kind of fruity drink. I don't really taste the ginger in it, ginger ale. But I love me my tropical one. Guys, so the next thing we have is the octopus takoyaki, and this is tender pieces of octopus and creamy sauce wrapped in batter and drizzled with teriyaki sauce. So I can't wait to try this one. So this is what it looks like. Super sticky, I feel like. Okay, so I'm just gonna try this. This is weird. Oh, that's so good. You can definitely feel the octopus pieces. This is what it looks like inside. But like, I like that. That's something I would like really eat. Oh my god, that dream. It's like a mix of winter and summer. I can't explain it, it's so good. Alright, so next up we've got the beef tataki. Hope I'm saying that right. It's a classic Japanese dish, rare British filet steeped in ginger, ponsu sauce. But yeah, I really like beef, so I can't wait to try this. I can't eat with this. Like, good try. I just did break it. Thank you. This wasabi very strong. Yeah, strong. Thank you. This is yum. But the thing is, there's like ginger pieces on it. I'm not a fan of that, but the meat itself is really, really good. Like, guys, look at that. 
I'm actually kind of warming up to the ginger. It's kind of nice with the meat. So the next one is seared salmon maki, which is Scottish salmon rolled with crunchy cucumber into eight pieces. I love me some sushi. I'm just gonna eat this with my finger because I'm just like that. Okay. okay, let's look at that. Looks really nice. You're so good. Oh my god, definitely best sushi I've ever tried. And I've tried a lot of sushi. That is so good. Even my mum's like, that's so good. The sushi is just like nice and soft, but you feel like the crunch with the cucumber and stuff. That is really nice. It's so yum. Oh my god, if you guys ever come to Inamo, you need to get this drink. Get this drink and then message me on Instagram and let me know you liked it because it's so good. So next up we've got the duck tataki, which is kind of like the beef one, but this one's just duck basically. Pulse is, but I think this one's different because it's got pulse in sauce and shavings of fresh orange. Oh my god, I actually do see it. That's what it looks like. I just squirted some on my face, but that's just the camera. Okay guys. So I do have to say the beef and the duck is cold, but I don't mind it. It's actually really nice. That's really nice, especially with the lemon on, like drizzled on top. I can kind of feel like the orange pieces. I think the sauce, like the wholesome sauce, goes so well with it. But it's really yum, guys. Okay, so here we have the Korean chicken wings, which is a succulent double chicken wings glazed in tangy Korean barbecue. And yeah, I think a lot, a lot of these dishes are great to share, like they say it for most of them, but I wouldn't be able to finish all this by myself. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> this just needs to be eaten by a hand, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, so I do feel like this has a lot of flavour. It's like kind of sweet, but it's like spicy also. And the chicken's like really nice to cook, like it's so soft. Mm. That is good. Like Bunny says, sippy sippy. <laughs> I can't do it to the fullest, guys. Oh. I'm a bit splattered in my eye, I don't know what the hell that was. Like, it's nicely cooked. And they put coconut on it, like... It's actually so nice. It's so good. Guys, they even gave a bottle of water and lemon to like, kind of wash your hands in. I thought it was something to dip the chicken in. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. <laughs> okay, so we have games here. Oh, that's some next level. 
fries there. Oh, that's so cute. Corn soup. Corn soup. So this is the candy floss garden. We've got a candy floss um, kind of like tree thing on a. These are like these are the, um, like chocolate sticks, and then we've got Oreo kind of stuff on the plate and strawberries and caramel ice cream. I need to have some of the candy floss. <laughs> oh, look at that highlight! I think the caramel ice cream when you eat with the Oreo stuff is really nice. Okay, then we have some brownie covered in chocolate. Can try that. I didn't think I was gonna. My mom found a cherry in a drink, but I didn't think I was gonna like the candy floss garden. But it actually goes so well all together. Like the the Oreo pieces go so well with the ice cream, and then you have that little brownie, and then the little candy floss. Like there's a mixture of everything, but they all go so well together. Like I always ask myself, would I order it again? And I think I would definitely order. Again. All right, guys. So my final thoughts are: I think everything is just so delicious, like really light but filling at the same time. There's a lot of flavors, and I think again, definitely the octopus thing. Definitely the chicken wings. Oh my god, the Korean chicken wings was just like bomb. Like you need to try it. If you come here, get some chicken wings. If you love yourself some chicken, let me know. Thank me later. And then I really like the duck, but you know I prefer the chicken and the octopus thing better to the, compared to the duck the drinks like this tropical storm drink is like one of my favorite mocktails I've ever tried um, it's just so sweet and like the cinnamon like it just comes through so it's like a, like I said it's a mixture of like summer and a winter drink at the same time I don't know I've never tried anything like it and then the dessert I was really surprised I was really not gonna get it but it's so Instagrammable like if you want to Instagram some nice food then definitely give it a go um, it's just a nice mixture of a, a little bit of everything and it just goes so well together so I, I think that dessert for me is I would say like a 8 out of 10 it was really good I do really love the interactive tables I mean this is one of the things that this is one of the reasons I wanted to visit this place is because of the interactive tables and you have like literally games you can draw which is really good if you're going to bring kids around um, I don't know it's just convenient and sometimes it was a bit hard to order on the table so they do have an iPad which makes it so much easier but it is kind of cool like if you're with a bunch of people to have the menu on the table <laughs> sorry I'm just speaking by myself here I know I'm a bit weird <laughs> <laughs> and what else yeah so I really really do love the interactive tables my mum and I really had a ton of fun like just playing with the games and just you know just checking it all out because you know when you're like waiting for food you're just sitting there and bored normally but with, with this like you, you just have so much to do and you're actually entertained and you can like look at the chefs like what they're up to like literally but yeah I only have to say that it was a bit difficult for me and my mum to see what we were ordering on the table so that's why it was just much easier and quicker to do it on the iPad I would have to say that the interactive table is better to like play and draw and stuff rather than order it just makes it easier to do it on the iPad and yeah I don't know that and also I have to say that the location and everything it was really nice it's very calm and the staff are so sweet like they've been so helpful very kind like honestly so I don't know I don't have anything bad to say apart from the struggle with ordering on the menu and that's it really it's just a really nice chilled vibe which is up my street like I love the vibe in here it's really pretty um, hopefully I've already showed you guys some close-ups of the place but it's just really nice here guys I'm really pleased yeah definitely um, a great start to my series so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'll leave a link to their website in the info box thank you to Inamo for having me really appreciate it and I will speak to you guys in my next video bye